Hmm. Hi, everyone. Brain the Drain Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Breakage record, Hypochondriac. This is a brand new project from singer, songwriter, producer, multi-instrumentalist Breakage, who has been building quite the organic following over the past few years, breaking out with tracks like Fuckboy and FWB in the thick of the pandemic 2020. These tracks and more ended up gracing the very cut and dry album that he uh, uh, dropped immediately after Punk 2, whose track list was so short it just didn't really feel like a super complete introduction to Breakins and his full potential. However, Hypochondriac seems to be that much more thorough and robust entrance that I was hoping for when I had first come across his music. As yes, this record over here kind of gives us the a fullest picture of Breakins's musical makeup, which is a pretty unique one at that, as we have a lot of emo-inspired vocals, lyrics, and songwriting underscored by glitchy pop production and whiffs of math rock guitars, as well as hip-hop beats. There's also also the matter of Breakins' very husky tenor, which has a lot of vibrato on it much of the time, plus he processes it in a way on his tracks that gives it um, like a part synthetic, part humanoid quality. Getting into the record itself, it did manage to be the multi-genre fusion experience that I hoped it would. Right from the first track, we have melodramatic lead vocals calling out over punchy beats and mathy guitar loops, a standout hook as well with all I can do to make me get over you, which I am singing very badly. The only thing that makes me hold back on the track quite a bit is, um, some of the lyrics where Breakins goes on saying things like, why you want a link, I'd rather finger fuck strings. I don't know how to be a lust king. No, I don't want to be intimate. You want me playing you like an instrument? I mean, different strokes for different folks. Not everybody needs to be DTF the moment that they're propositioned. But the tone of these lyrics and others on this track just comes across a uh, very conceited and maybe even slightly antisocial, even slightly obsessed when you look at some of the more braggadocious bars on the track about being a trendy boy who's uh, making checks to continue funding his uh, big pants music projects. And if there was ever any doubt that his uh, feelings were kind of leaning in this direction, we have the following cut, Caffeine, which goes full ego trip as Breakins says, how this shit ain't obvious to you, I'm not even 21, my music be the snobbiest, somehow I'm gonna get it done. Him calling his own music snobby is kind of a tell, and not in the way that he thinks it is, because it's clear he's trying to get across that he's uh, truly onto something groundbreaking here. But I don't think that could be farther from the truth. There's even a moment on the opening track where he takes a jab at bubblegum pop, as if he has more in common with Aphex Twin than Owl City, and believe me, it's the opposite. Which, inherently, there's nothing wrong with, but like, have a sense of where you are, guy. And look, it's sad that this energy is like just spilling out all over this track and many others because it often ruins perfectly good and very cutting edge production. Not to mention the mix of vibes on these tracks becomes a bit silly when he's uh, working in these random kooky samples from the internet, including the Wombo Combo reaction. <laughs> Okay. Keeping up with that true emo spirit, the song Venus Flytrap is about a girl that uh, he's deeply obsessed with. And she's playing him. He can't resist her. She's got kisses laced with poison. Still one of the catchier and slicker cuts on the record, even if some of the lyrical content is... Uh. Kind of the same story with the track Teeth, although on this one, Breakins' ego is under the microscope again. His newfound fame sees him mixing self-expression with self-obsession. He later follows this up with a bar where he is fighting for his life like the ring is Elden. Jesus. It's, it's a hard game, yes, I get it, but ugh. He also says that he's gonna take a breath before his ego goes pop. Why? Why? Off this smidge of internet hype? You're literally out here on your record making one of the worst Elden Ring references, most obvious, mind you, uh, of the year. How did we get here? The track is still not without its merits. There are some points where lyrically he does make some interesting metaphors about being objectified as a performer, but then he instantly undermines it with moments like, I hit Control-Alt-Delete, and yet I can't stop manufacturing hate. 
again, it's sad because the production is is generally pretty good and Breakins also seems to know his way around a good song structure. But I'm not gonna sit here and let him launder these completely awful bars through uh, some good tunes and beats. Intellectual Greed switches things up with one of the more rock-driven instrumentals on the LP. The drums and guitars on this one are on 10, though I'm not too crazy about the production sounding a little too blown out. The vocals are especially passionate on this one too, as Breakin sings about all the things that he wanted out of uh, success coming with his music, be it money, fame, uh, everyone under his reign. It's a music career, it's not a dictatorship. Granted, this track feels more like a commentary on egoism than an outright embrace of it, but uh, only slightly. Breakins also leans a bit too hard into all of these uh, kooky pitch vocals on the following 5G. And while there is a solid tune at the core of preparation exercise, the glitchy sped up passages around the midpoint and then the dejected ambient pop passages to follow are just kind of disjointed and obnoxious. Following this up though is the track CBD, which I legitimately think is a great song, fantastic song, even if it is a little woe is me. Cause no one cares for me except me. Still, the chorus is smooth, it's funky. Uh, it's one of the better pop hooks I've heard this year. Many of the bars on the track are free of the usual toxicity on the album, though I do think Breakins enjoys his uh, lone wolf slash joker mode uh, a little more than he would like to let on. Though he does subject us to a lot of uh, strange bits of emotional bitterness on the song Stung, which I love and respect this track's genius musical transition from the previous track. Very smooth, totally seamless. The wavy arpeggio beds uh, throughout the track also set a perfect stage for Breakins to go into this personal musical monologue, which again, great in concept, great in concept, but uh, it's utterly ruined with bars like, if this is the time, cut out the IV, taking that blade, just do it Nike. <sighs> and with Argyle, the narrative of this track, I'm such a bad boy. I didn't even love you. I was pretending the whole time. I don't want a girl. I don't even want a man. My only friend is whatever I'm tripping on. Look, everyone deserves an outlet for their feelings. I don't come on here to delegitimize the emotions going into this track. I just don't think they're being um, explored from a very healthy place is what I'm saying. Which also comes through on the track Deep Fake as well, uh, even though the uh, keys and the falsetto vocals have kind of a beautiful Bon Iver-esque quality to them on the intro. Narratively, the track does see Breakins acknowledging his ego and talking about how his personality uh, was fake now that his ego has been popped. However, this realization doesn't see him kind of replacing that with anything better, as the tantrum he's throwing over this very powerful progression and uh, beat is really just an ear sore in my opinion. Though I suppose in a way it does bring things to a very uh, explosive end and sets things up for some of the revelations on the track Introvert, which I think is genuinely one of the more well-crafted songs on the LP, even if it is couched in a lot of the same woe is me deprecation. The cute country-esque beats and guitar passages are quite nice. We have uh, a section of more silly sound effects, which is eventually met with this uh, woman speaking. She sounds like she's some kind of like AI or computer program or something, saying Breakins has been successfully eradicated. He would rather make selfish art than serve a higher purpose. Ha has has he been deleted? Were, were we just experiencing this like angry emo boy simulation the entire time? What is going on here? Uh, and, and is this just an attempt to like post hoc justify like all of the uh, crappy vibes and attitudes and perspectives throughout the album up to this point. Oh, it's like bad and I know it's bad and I've acknowledged that it's bad uh, because I've, I've been deleted, I guess. But like truth be told, there's a lot of selfish art being made out there every day, even if Breakins is acknowledging that at this point on the album, the fact that he takes himself as like a prime example of doing that, uh, just again, is another example of the ego being shown on the record, even though uh, it's trying to actively work against being egotistical in this moment and show at least a modicum of self-awareness. Look, there's nothing inherently wrong with an album that is uh, centered around oneself or, uh, or even uh, just kind of being sad. But in this instance, uh, due to perspective, due to philosophy, due to uh, whatever, 
It translates in the worst way. Even if the genre combinations, the songwriting, and production generally on this thing are pretty good. And if what self-awareness we do see on this record uh, from Breakins is true and real and genuine, next project will move on to uh, something else in terms of perspective and truly flush the egoism that this album is very obviously embracing, but simultaneously saying, <laughs> That's bad. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this one. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Breakins, forever.